All right. Well, first, I just want to thank Pat and Chuck for having me today. And this is such an honor. Uh, I hope that each and every one of you leave here uh, gaining at least some knowledge about how to use Canva. Um, my name is Emily Daniel. I am the broker owner here at Next Home Premier Realty in Russellville, Arkansas. If you don't know where that is, um, it's just central Arkansas. Um, and yeah, I have been using Canva for several years now. I'm all self-taught, uh, just spend uh, there in the beginning, especially just way too much time on it and kind of learn things throughout the way and through trial and error. So uh, I do have a presentation to share with you guys today. I'm going to share my screen and then we will actually, I have a, we had a closing and so I have to make uh, a post to go out. And so we're just going to all sit here and do that together. So you can kind of see how my process works. So, which one do I do? Who wrote that? Oh, he left. Let's see. And, all right. And tell me, you guys can see Canva open right now, correct? Yes. yes. Yep. Okay. All right. You see my presentation. So there is a way to present from here, but so that we can kind of look at the tools alongside going through the presentation, I'm just going to uh, not actually present it and just show you the presentation this way. So this is all about Canva, how to use it and why. Um, Canva is a fantastic tool. There's a free version as well as a paid version that gives you a few more options. Uh, and it's really used to create your marketing, uh, your, all of your marketing and make it look very professional. So it is significantly easier in my opinion than using a platform like Adobe Illustrator. And it's just kind of a plug and play system. Topics today, uh, I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite features that I use on any given day, anytime I'm creating something, the do's for using Canva and the don'ts. And then we're gonna go through a sample project. And at the end, we'll take some time to, if you have any questions that we can address, okay. If I'm going too fast, please chime in and tell me, okay? Or if I'm going too slow, that too. I am from Arkansas. All right, so these are my favorite features. Um, I would highly recommend everybody use the paid version. You can create a brand kit in the paid version. So um, uploading all of the logos that we have with Next Home, if you have a team logo or, um, Luke, just all the illustrations that corporate has given us, you can do that, as well as adding the specific colors that Next Home allows us to use. So that is, you actually go over here, um, you would go into brand, and there's my Next Home brand kit. So I have all of my Logos, any images that I use on a regular basis. Here are my colors. You can actually go and add your fonts. I haven't done that, um, but yeah, there's a lot of things that you can add there. And I'm gonna scroll this down a little bit. Easy to use templates. So I am not a graphic designer. There are thousands of templates at our disposal. And that's one of my favorite things about Canva. So if you're going in and creating a design, you can uh, use the templates here and then just add your pictures as you're creating it. It's very, very simple to use, very easy. The elements, as you're adding to your design, you can add shapes, graphics, tables, videos. This is another reason that I use a paid version is because uh, I'm not limited. If you do the free version, you'll be limited to which pictures and which videos you can actually utilize. Um, you can create charts, frames, etc. I mean, we're going to go into this a lot more depth uh, when we're actually creating the design. And then the my last favorite thing that I love about Canva is how easy they make it to share. So 
Uh, you can share, you can print things directly from Canva. They will ship it directly to you. So you don't have to mess with like going to a Staples or something. Um, their quality is fantastic in my opinion. It, the colors are really crisp and clean. Uh, the, just printing in general is nice, but you can also share to social media. And then I also really love the fact that I can share my designs with people on my team. So I have an agent who's bilingual. We share our designs back and forth with one another so that I create it in English and then she uses my design. So she's not having to reinvent the wheel, but she will translate what I've created into Spanish. So that's nice. So she doesn't have to waste her time on Canva and she can do what she does best, which is selling real estate. Any questions so far? All right, so here are six of the do's for using Canva. Uh, use the templates. You do not need to reinvent the wheel. It will make your life so much easier if you just use those. They've already created them. They're beautiful and you can easily change the color of anything that you're using to match next home colors. Uh, experiment with Canvas features. They're always adding new features uh, during the course of developing this program. I actually realized that you can use, uh, create e AI images and it's very simple to use. And so there's just so much that they're adding all the time. So get creative and, and play around with it. Do format your designs to the right size. So when you're creating a design, you want to make sure that if you're making a Facebook post, you want it to uh, select the size for an actual Facebook post. If you're doing a postcard, you wanna make sure you're formatting the entire image as a postcard and the size that you're going to be printing it at. Uh, Instagram is gonna be different from Facebook. And so these are all things that you wanna consider as you're um, creating your design and getting started just right from the beginning. Uh, there, I will say there's nothing worse than creating a design and then trying to use it on Facebook and then it cuts and crops out part of your image. That's a huge bummer because then it's back to the drawing board. Uh, do save and tag your images that you use regularly. So for my office, we have everybody's headshots uploaded in there. And then if I, if that particular person, so like today's example, Billy had a closing, I'm going to upload Billy's a headshot into the design and I don't have to go back in and search it. It's always easy and readily available to me. Do use gray grids and frames for your images. This just helps your images to stay um, proportionate and uh, allows them to be beautiful. And have fun. So this is a very creative project and you want to make sure that you're enjoying the process. If you've had a very stressful day, you're not having fun with it, don't force it, it won't come out well, I've tried. All right, and the don'ts. Uh, don't forget the branding guidelines. We have an incredible marketing team at Next Home Corporate who has done a tremendous job uh, creating beautiful guidelines for us so that all of our work looks so great. The colors coordinate well together. Um, follow those guidelines and make sure that you're, you're just make sure you're following them. Don't overcomplicate your designs. You don't want them to be um, really busy. You want to keep it simple. Don't neglect mobile responsiveness. So if you think about if you're putting something up on social media, you want to make sure that it's going to be formatted for somebody's cell phone as well as the computer, which is why it's important to start from the beginning and format it as a Facebook post or Instagram post. And then also you want to make sure that you're not having a bunch of little, uh, a little, little font where it's going to be really hard for people to read that. So just keep in mind that people may be scrolling and looking on their, their cell phone at these images. Don't skip proofreading and quality control. That seems pretty self-explanatory. Um, you're trying, you're using Canva to create a professional looking product. If it is, uh, you have words misspelled, then you have not created a professional looking product. Don't spend too much time on it. <laughs> um, 
Canva is absolutely one of my biggest time wasters. So you need to make sure that you, when you're getting into it, especially at the beginning where it's going to take a little bit more time for you to understand how to use it, um, time block it as part of your schedule. Don't spend eight hours on Canva. That is not a income producing uh, activity. And so you just want to make sure that you allow an appropriate amount of time for something like this. I th think that everybody in here is probably a, an agent, a realtor. This is not income producing activities. And then finally, don't force it. It kind of just goes back to having fun. If you start a project and you just can't make it work, and for whatever reason, the images aren't aligning well together that day, just take a step back, go do something else, and you can always come back to it. So. All right. Anything, any questions so far? I feel like I spewed out a lot of information. Ernie has a question. It says, uh, Emily, to not duplicate the same design, how do you transfer one design, say for Instagram to Facebook without starting all over from the beginning? Hmm. Um, Copy and paste. Yeah, that's a really great question. That's that's what I would do. There's probably a a better way that Canva does, but just as a reminder, like I am self-taught. Um, so I would select everything in it, like I'm doing right now, where you shift and um, click multiple things. And I, well, I just let go of it all. I'm pretty and sure you can actually... I'm pretty sure you can actually click the whole page and copy and paste it into the new design that you want, like an Instagram post. Yeah, yeah, probably. So um, that's a great question. If you would like to message me, I'm happy to answer any questions because I'm pretty familiar with the platform. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions after the fact. Just message me on Facebook. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Um, so we're going to make something together. Okay. I felt like the best way to teach this was to, just to show you guys. So I'm going to go back in here to the beginning. Okay. Okay. I don't usually do this with 30 people watching me, so... <laughs> All right, so first we start out, we're going to create a design, okay? This design is going to go on Facebook, so I've selected the Facebook post, okay? Right. You go up here, and you can type in whatever you want. I am using, uh, I'm doing one for a closing, and so I want to see those templates. You can see these are all the templates that I have to choose from. A lot of options. Okay. Um, I'm going to X out of this because I already made this design earlier as a practice run for you guys. So I'm going to use this one that's recently used. Now, as you can see, if I go into styles, I have all my next home colors already saved. I can move it around and choose which one I want to do. Okay. I was not a huge fan of the fact that the image didn't cover this edge. So I'm just going to drag it. And then if you see, there's a little bit of a curve down here at the bottom. So I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. So we get rid of that curve. Drag it down a little bit so we have the whole image. And sometimes the colors come out um, as accent colors. So I want to make sure I'm staying on brand. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to change some of these. Make that orange, the orange I want. Now, I personally do like the fact that the font down here is darker. So I did not want this bubble. So I'm just going to remove that. And in all of mine, I always include our logo up at the top corner. 
So I'm going to do that. And then if you see, it kind of shows up in the whole thing. That's because the image that was there is part of a grid. So if you just drop it there and then you press undo, that'll go away. But I do like it to be exactly in the corner. You can see that pink line when you're aligning it. That tells you, so the dashed line is showing that I'm centered with the image that's on the left side of the screen. I want it to be aligned at the very top. You can see a faint pink line and on the very right, you can see a faint pink or maybe it's purple. And then press undo so that it is not taking up that image. Now for the sake of time, I already uploaded the images that I'm gonna be using today. We got the house that was sold. Okay. And then you can double click it and make it bigger move it as part of the image I might make it a little bit there we go okay all right now for this i didn't need that picture because i just have a picture of the uh, house that was sold and then we have a picture of our client that we represented billy and Billy and his client. Down here, I'm going to get rid of that. And over here on the right, I'm going to scroll to find text. And then I'm going to find, I like this one. Okay. Now I like the font, but I don't like the effect. So instead of using this glow neon effect, I'm going to switch it over to outline and then obviously we know that hot pink is not a color for next home so we're gonna uh, change the outline to white and change the pink color to let's try gray sizing it down and i'm gonna write congratulations and check if there's questions that pop up if y'all want to stop me you know feel free yes. i feel like i'm kind of rambling here no no you're doing great this is excellent and uh yeah as questions come up we'll we'll stop you and uh we'll interrupt and I let you know question. oh so, pat has one i have a question so i noticed when you were pulling up the templates in the beginning yes one of them said pro okay so there were differences between the paid version and pro or they're both the same? No, I think that they're both the same. Okay. I haven't right. ever been restricted on anything. It may be just be uh, telling me that I'm able to use that one because I have the paid version. Okay, thanks. Yeah. All right. So let's see. I have a question too. Maybe a little off. <clears throat> when, when you first pulled up the um, the design, you were able to click through and see different versions of mm -hmm. the branding colors. How did you set up that so that you can do that? You yeah. take your brand kit and do something with it, or how do you do that? So you just, when you um, first get on and you do your brand kit, uh -huh. it should show up here under the design and then under styles. Well, but it'll and be there automatically. You do it will be kit? there automatically. Okay. Say that again. They're automatically once you put your brand kit together. Yes. Okay. And if you have like, uh, I had Star Wars. I was working on a specific project. And I just wanted these fonts available to me. These are not brand uh, fonts, but um, you can add your fonts here, and all of this should be there together. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Emily. I, I think in answer to Pat's question, the difference between the paid and the pro, if I'm not mistaken, is on the pro version, you can add up to five team members. Um, you can actually give them permission to, um, and, and that's all part of the one cost. Um, so I know that's what I have here. And I could add my team members on there and give them permission to do their own without having to pay. Yes. So there is a, a a version for teams 
Um, so if you have multiple people creating on the same Canva, that is that is correct. Also on the free version, you're limited to the free version's designs. Quite a few designs you can't use unless you have a paid. I'll give you a sneak peek of what I did before. All right, you didn't see this. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So I wrote this before. I didn't want to rewrite it. I couldn't exactly remember the words. Congrats. That's not spelled correctly. Okay, and switch over here, sold by, now I want that in the center. So I'm gonna have to size that down and then drag it over. And you can see it'll line up. You can see that pink dotted line, okay? And then let's change that to really Daniel. Ah. <laughs> Is that? And then if you see, there's a gap in between Billy and Daniel. And so I'm going to go up here to spacing and I'm going to make that line spacing smaller. Up there. I don't need more words. So I'm gonna go down here to my logos where I have all my images saved and I'm going to add Luke because who doesn't want Luke on their stuff? He's too cute. And this is where I get really picky and I just spend too much time resizing. Okay. All right. And then really because you can't read that fucking thing. I'm sorry. So um here I'm gonna change this to gray and add our little disclosure. Each office is in the Y'all may see why I included the proofread on my on my musts. All right. Okay. All right. So I want all of three things, these three things to be in line with one another. And then I'm actually going to go into my uploads. And I want to put Billy's headshot on here. Which is going to be that one. Oh. There we go. Okay. okay. And then I like this sold by Billy Daniel um, to be, I'm going to switch all of this. So I'm going to, uh, I'm holding shift down and clicking on the images. I'm going to click on the text and click on this text. And I'm going to pop up with this group because I like all, I want all three of these things to be together. So it's just easier for me to move it around that way. I'll just put it up here out of my way. All right. And then I want to keep all this together. So same thing. I click on the green or the blue part. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to click on the orange part. Click on each of the words in the loop. And I'm going to do the same thing. Group all of that together and put it over here. Move that over here because I like it more. Now, this looks ridiculous because we still have the background. So I click on it, I edit photo, and uh, use this background remover. And make this a little bit smaller. Okay. I want Billy, see how he's going behind that? Uh, the sold by Billy Daniel. I want him in front of that. So I'm going to right click that, go to layer, 
and I'm going to bring him to the front. Now he's not hiding behind that. Okay. Now this all needs to get bigger. We want to make sure that everyone can see our client and his happy smile. So we're just going to make that bigger. And then I'm going to ungroup this because I'm going to reformat how uh, space these things are. Make sure that congratulations is all on one line. And I made it a little bit bigger. Let's draw that down here. And then, ah. Now, when I ungrouped everything, if you didn't notice, um, when I ungrouped it, the image was removed from the uh, turquoise background. So I got to go back in and shift, select both of those, group those again, and then resize. Now we can see our client better because, you know, you're thinking about somebody looking at this on their phone. There, uh, it's a lot to look at if it's really small. Um, another thing that I notice a lot when I'm watching, uh, seeing other people post their stuff is like when they're floating in the air. So Billy's headshot cuts off at the bottom of his leg or at the top of his legs. So I just want to make that down here, even with the bottom. So he's not just floating. Billy doesn't know how to fly, so we don't want that in the, we don't want that in the, in the image. Okay, let's see. We'll make that. And then this is where it's just about kind of figuring out sizing and playing around, seeing what you like. If you notice, like, because I grouped it all together, when I resize things, it uh, keeps the proportion there. You can see the measurements. I want those even. And then I want that dotted, that dashed line to be in the middle. I think I'm going to drop that down a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. And there we go. So then from here to finish it up, I can share on social media, or I can just download it and upload it myself if I wanna do it that way. Um, I could print it, although this is formatted for the size of a Facebook post, so I don't, I wouldn't necessarily need to print it. Um, let's see. I can share it. I can uh, give anyone else access or add people on my team to, uh, be able to use it as well. So, I don't know, hopefully that was helpful. Um, but that's, I mean, that we created a post, so that's all I have for that. That is really awesome. I can't believe how easy that is. It is super easy. Um, when I first got started, I spent too much time on it. I mean, even there at the end, I get real finicky and I'm like, I want to move it just a little bit to the left. I want to move it to, you know, and it, it doesn't need, I don't need to do all that, but, um, it can be super easy. I can throw together a Facebook post in five minutes. So what I usually do is I time block them for one day of the week. I work on Canva for an hour and knock it out and have everything scheduled to go out, um, for the rest of the week on, on our business page. So I have a question. So like, for example, you, you had the picture of Billy and then the little block of text next to him. Uh, mm -hmm. Would you be able to take like that, that whole unit, the block of text and him and save that since that's something that you might use over and over again? Hmm. Um, so probably, I know that there are ways to save all sorts of different features that you're going to use over and over. Like I have actually, I need to save the each office is independently owned and operated. I know you can do that. Um, yeah, that would be another good example of, you know, something that you use over and over again that would be awesome to be in a library. Yes. 
Um, I have not ever done that, but that's that's absolutely, I'm sure, something that you, you could do. Yes. Awesome. So who else has questions? This this thing looks really powerful. You do recommend the paid version. I do recommend the paid version. I it's $120 for the year, 10 bucks a month. That's all? That's nothing. What? Yeah, so oh, like 50 bucks a month or 100 bucks a month. Okay. Oh, so it's and you get access oh. to the audio, uh more design templates, you get access to the brand kit. I think that's only a paid version uh mm -hmm. where you get, and that's to me worth that it. That alone would be oh. worth it. Yeah. Um, just being able to, and then, so if you remember at the beginning, I was clicking on the colors and it's, it changes the colors for me. And then I just pick the version of the color combination that I like the most. Yes. So, uh, we've got a couple questions just came in. Pam Miller wanted to know, is the cost of Canva printing, uh, similarly priced to Staples or Kinko's or some places like that? I have not compared it to those other sites, but it is it is not it's very inexpensive in my opinion. And the yeah, they, they'd have it, to be competitive. There, I, I think that they must be very competitive. Um, I'm trying to think. I think I can print like fifty. I, I'm trying to think of my last order. So I think I printed like fifty of the jumbo postcards because we do those anytime we have a sold we send out the sold postcards mm -hmm. like 50 for 20 dollars. It, it's very inexpensive and the yeah. fact that it's easy and they send it right to you and the quality is really good as well well that sounds really reasonable plus the convenience factor is just amazing mm -hmm. so uh ariel swell <laughs> i'm choking on the words here ariel swalboski had a question uh, do you have any favorite templates for beginners to start with? You know, I don't because every template is so simple and it's just a plug and play. I really don't find that any of them are easier to use than another one. Um, and then when you add the brand kit, I'm sorry, I'm going to say it again. You just click that button and it makes it so simple to make it uh but where you don't where you're gonna have to change very little in this particular one i switched the side of some images and some boxes and things but most of them you really don't even have to do that that's just what i had done today because of the images that i had the, the pictures we had of for our closing and so for brokers um i add we use docusign rooms and we just add that our uh agents add their closing photo as part of their DocuSign rooms, um, everything, their checklist. And so they add it there. I can upload it into Canva from that. And it makes that part kind of uh, streamline that process too. Okay. So Pam Miller had a follow-up question. Uh, what, what kind of turnaround uh, for the printing to be delivered? So I do, they do free delivery. It's a little bit longer, but it's like seven to 10 days. So I just do the free delivery and it's pretty short. You can do it overnighted or you can do uh -huh. it. You know, there's different options there. Obviously the cost goes up. Yeah, but, but that yeah. sounds about average for, you know, any any kind of printing that's getting delivered. And yeah. uh, Ann Banyos had a question. So she says, once you build a project, you can go back and swap out images, et cetera, if you want them to have a consistent look. Well, I, I guess that was actually a statement. Yes. And yeah, that that's a good point. And, and I, I think you might have touched on this, but I, I don't recall, is that you can take something like, for, for example, the piece that you just made uh, and make a template out of that. Mm -hmm. So you could yes. reuse it over and over again. So I'm going to share my screen again, just so we can kind of dive into that a little bit. Thank you. Okay. So if you go over here to home, you can see all of my projects that I've done. We did a, we did a Halloween decorating contest. That's why all that's in there. Um, so let's use this one as an example. 
okay? So go in here, maybe I wanna use this house. And again, I wanna use Billy. And, oh no, then you could. There's another thing. There you go. And then you could go in here, and this is just things that I've created. So that one that he sold was a not a 23 bedroom, <laughs> two bedroom, three bedroom, two bath. So yeah, you could absolutely just use, if you wanted to have a very consistent look, you could, it would be as easy as that. Um, there's another one that I, so we did why hire a realtor. This is one that we use a lot of times when we're waiting for um, agents to get their business cards, they're ready to start working and they want to have something to hand out if they're door knocking or anything like that. So we have this created. And then just as an example of what um, my agent created. So she used exactly what I had and then translated it so that she could use it for her, for her clients who speak Spanish. So uh, Ernie Flores had a comment that uh, uh, another thing you kind of touched on was another option is you could download your project and then send it to your own printer directly if you have someone that you like to use. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so when you share your project at the end and if you want to uh, share it on social media, but it also gives you an option to download it and you can save it as a PDF or uh, PDF for printing, pre PDF for emailing. They have all the different formats in there available. Yeah, that's exactly right, because that's what uh, printers will want is a PDF. And, uh, and of course, Ann Banos pointed out that, of course, you can print it yourself off your own computer if you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe, maybe our next home corporate will um, make consider making Canva one of our next partners, and then we can just share with each other. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't that be awesome? Ernie, you're awesome. We love you. We think you're great. Oh, <laughs> <That's dang. laughs> <such> great ideas. <laughs> That's a fantastic idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. That's pretty much all I have for well, that today. That was so oh awesome. God. I'm inspired. And um Oh, With your and, design background, you're going to really love it. It's, you know, it just makes things so easy. Yeah, because I've got a uh, advertising design background, so I've been using Adobe products all along. But I have to tell you, this looks like it's a lot easier and faster to create things. And uh, it's, I mean, not necessarily a better tool, but a great alternative. Mm -hmm. It's It's a great tool. I have a funny story. I have a former colleague who opened up a business in um, the San Diego area. And he reached out to me um, not too long ago. And he asked me, who, who did you hire to do all of your marketing for you on social media with all those templates and everything? And I told him that I hired a marketing firm out of New York City. And so he was like, wow, you did? A marketing firm from New York? I'm like, dude, really? It's Canva. <laughs> 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 I cool. actually, I have a similar story where somebody asked me the same thing. Wow, who does all your marketing? Oh, that's, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and Banos uh, pointed out that you can share templates and, and there's also Facebook real estate groups for Canva, which uh, never knew about that. So that would be a great way, way to share resources and also to get resources from other people. Yeah, that's and, great. And maybe uh, in the next Homey Focus Group web or Facebook page that we're all members of, uh, maybe that would be a really great place to start sharing those in the file tab up at the top. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be, a, that's a great idea. This, I mean, really the, the main focus of this group is to help each other out. 
And of course, that's the the next homey way of doing things too. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. My my first experience with Canva was uh, Joe Hogan out in Hawaii uh, made a post. He posted something and I thought it looked really cool. So I called him up and said, hey, man, uh, you know, how'd you make that? And he, he kind of walked me through it in Canva. He says, yeah, I did it in Canva. You know, here's how I did it. And just kind of gave me a little walkthrough. I don't think there's too many brands where you could just call up somebody across the country. Well, <laughs> actually halfway across the globe and they'll take a minute and explain it and walk you through it step by step. Yeah, that has definitely been uh, one of my favorite things about Next Home since we opened our brokerage in 2022, uh, just the collaboration, and, and which is exactly why I wanted to jump on today and, and share with you guys what I know about it. It may be still kind of fairly elementary, but hopefully some people gain, gain some knowledge. Now, Emily, uh, tell us all the area that you serve and, and how we can get hold of you. Yeah, so we're here in the state of Arkansas. Uh, we are in central Arkansas. Um, my cell phone number is 479-647-6466. I can even put it here in the chat. Yeah, we are in no a pretty rural community, but we have um, we have a small office, about six agents, but every one of them is a go-getter. So. Oh, that's the way our office is here in Tampa Bay. And I got to tell you, there's a lot of people who are moving to Arkansas and, and, you know, a lot of the central states because of the quality of life and, and also the lower cost of living than a lot of places. And want to know how far away you are from Hot Springs. We're about an hour and 45 minutes from Hot Springs. Uh, you... There's not a next home office there. I, um, uh, yeah, I've never sold anything in, I know that there's a agent from the Conway office who actually lives in Hot Springs. I'd be happy to connect you with them. They'd probably give you better service just because they know the that area of How Arkansas. How far do you go out? Like an hour? Yeah, about an hour radius okay. from us. Um, because it's so rural, there's times where you go a little bit further just because it's a mm -hmm. windy road or something. But yeah, about an hour we pretty much stick with just because that's our area of expertise well, we know great agents though across the state so if you have somebody coming to arkansas we'd love to just chat with you and and help you connect with somebody who's going to take good care of them so i guess don't don't look at the map you just call emily wild, wild turkeys during your free time personally i don't but it is the time of year where there's just dead deer all over my newsfeed. it's just Oh. Tons hanging out and everything. I don't hunt. I'm not against it. I just don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Sarah said, thank you. Their office is super adorable too. Emily and Billy were kind to play host to me one day during our Arkansas road trip. <laughs> That's nice. Sarah, I'm so glad you were able to jump on today. Yeah. Thank you for the office. That's a small and Amanda office. is in uh, Memphis and the surrounding areas. Amanda Bolton. So it's nice she wrote that. Yeah, Amanda, you'll have to get back with me. Um, I'm curious if you serve West Memphis, which is in Arkansas, but I think pretty close to Memphis. So, so you just have your Arkansas license. You don't have any other states, correct? Correct. No, okay. we're right in the middle of the right in the central. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah. So you really wouldn't need any other no. licenses. Yeah. Not well, not for now, at least. Well, Emily, I can't thank you enough for you so joining much. us today and, and sharing your knowledge. It, it was really great. I, I know I learned a lot. And uh, and thanks for everybody else for, for joining us today. It's always good to see you all. And uh, we hope to see you again in two weeks.